the most popular database MySQL has two versions, 5.7 and MySQL 8. And maybe you're thinking about 6 and 7. But from MySQL decided to jump from 5.7 to 8, most probably because uh, many new features were added and uh, a lot of uh, issues were fixed. And some say that uh, version 8 is coming from uh, 5.7, the next is 5.8 and they just removed the 5. Who knows? Mm, what's new in MySQL 8? So first of all, you can see uh, the new default collation from Latin Swedish to UTF-8 MB4 and why this is important because now you can use emojis in your database because uh, many applications required uh, using uh, 4 byte UTF characters so this is a really good one and next one is including rows so you have uh, higher level of privileges and you'll be able to create uh, roles for uh, different ki kind of users and this is uh, also a feature which was desired for a really long time another good feature is invisible indexes which means that uh, now you can uh, put an index like invisible and this index is not going to be used in the queries and you can test your performance and if you don't need this index then you can drop it uh, the other big change is um, that uh, system tables are moved to storage engine in ODB and my ISAM is going to be available in version 8 with some constraints which is to say that uh, MySQL is moving to storage engine in ODB so the other change is uh, that now, now you'll be able to persist your global variables with a set persist and this is going to be um, stored even after restart uh, another big change is uh, changing uh, the way uh, MySQL is working with uh, identifiers and now you have uh, better storage and performance and more flexible way to work with uh, unique identifiers and the last change that, that I want to mention is about descending indexes which is to say that now you can use uh, desk or ask for your index and they will be not ignored and even if you are uh, reading for reverse order your index you will not have a performance penalty and you can see the official statement for MySQL and also you can see the change list for this uh, big version on this link here you will see many changes and fixes and other stuff here and the final question is uh, do we need to upgrade to MySQL 8 personally I will stay on version 5.7 until it's stable and I will install MySQL 8 8 on uh, my development environments to test and play with the new features and what is your opinion about the new features and the new release do you like it do you think that something is missing from this new big release please do share your comments below thank you for watching and see you soon